High School Basketball on Bear Country 95.3. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Goodnow Gymnasium, Frontier Regional in South Deerfield. Tonight, a girls Franklin County League matchup. It's the Frontier Red Hawks going up against the Greenfield Green Wave. I'm Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins to my right, Dave Reno, our studio producer. Happy holidays, everyone, and Merry Christmas to one and all. So our last games before the holiday break tonight, Chris, we got a Franklin County League matchup. The number third ranked team in all of Western Mass, that's regardless of division, according to Mass Live, the Lady Wave of Greenfield High at 3-0. They take on one up, one down Frontier here tonight. A young Frontier team, only one senior, but I gotta tell you, this has rapidly become a rivalry game over the last couple of seasons. These teams always play each other tough. I think Greenfield comes in loaded for Bear, but I would not overlook this Frontier team. A lot of speed, a lot of ability, good basketball knowledge, and a great coach. Greenfield, of course, made it all the way to the Western Mass semifinals last year before bowing out against Hampshire Regional, but Frontier gave them a game here. I remember John Hickey, the Greenfield coach, had to call an early timeout as Frontier came out of the gates very strong. Greenfield ultimately would pull away and win, but it did not come easy. So far this year, Greenfield is 3-0. They loaded up as they have done for the last couple of years here with Division I competition. They open up the season with a decisive victory over Chicopee Comp, a somewhat comfortable win over Westside. They open up league play with a blowout victory over Athol. So again, they come in at 3-0, number three in all of Western Mass. Frontier is 1-1. One one. They lost to a very good Palmer team, one of the top teams in Division II. And then they opened up their league play with a victory over the Mahar Senators. Now the question is, will they be able to deal with Greenfield's skill level, the talent, and the rebounding of Sam Smith? Well, that's the big one. I mean, they don't really have a topper that can hang with Sam Smith in the paint. And she's so skilled, and she's great position under the basket. That's going to be a, a tough matchup for Rick Recor's girls. I also think Reagan Hickey, you know, she can move the ball very well. She finds Smith a lot. That's a good two-person game when they're on the floor. Frontier's going to have to play really, really tough defense. And, of course, you also have to account for Katie Hazelton, who's off to another phenomenal start. And it's crazy. She's only a sophomore, but she uh, this is her third year of varsity basketball under head coach John Hickey. 3-0 Greenfield, 1-1 one one Frontier. We're about seven minutes away from the start of tonight's game. We'll take a timeout here on the pregame show. We'll come back. Starting lineups, National Anthem, and the opening tip-off, Greenfield Frontier, live from South Deerfield. It's next on Bear Country 95.3. Well, a very nice Friday night crowd is gathered here at Frontier Regional. Good night to come into the gym with the rain that we had earlier. It's finally starting to trickle up. But we, as you know, suffered uh, torrential downpours throughout the day here in the Pioneer Valley. But tonight, indoors, we get set for what hopefully will be a good matchup between Frontier and Greenfield. We're going to send it to the floor for the introduction of the starting Ladies lineups. Welcome to Frontier Regional School for tonight's game. Our guests this evening are the Green Wave from Greenfield High School. The member of high school of the MIAA cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now for tonight's starting lineups. For Greenfield at forward, number 10, Olivia Joy. At guard, number two, Raquel Provo. At center, number 32, Samantha Smith. At guard, number five, Reagan Hickey. And at guard, number four, Kate, Katie Hazelton. Greenfield is coached by John Hickey. Now for Frontier, at forward, number 15, Olivia Dean. At forward, number 12, Amelia Sobieski. At center, number 13, Charlotte Dublet. At guard, number 22, Marie Demon. And at guard, number four, Ariana Walker. 
Carter. Frontier is coached by Rick Recor. The officials for tonight's game are Billy Joe Robido, John O'Neill, and John Patava. All right, and I think we're ready for basketball after that. After a is that Fergie? lengthy, I don't know who that is. I thought they burned that recording. <laughs> lengthy. That was for the All-Star game. I, I don't know who that was, but. Lengthy version of the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> Remember that scene in Mystery Alaska where they make Little Richard sing the national anthem really slow to <laughs> mess up the New York Rangers players? <laughs> that escalated quickly, as they say. Yes. All right. We've got three men officiating crew. John Patel is the lead official working with John O'Neill and Billy Robido. John Patel making sure that we're good to go. We're good to go. Frontier in their home white uniforms with the crimson red and navy blue. Greenfield in the visiting dark green and black. Eight minute quarters, 30 second, uh, 30 second shot clock, he said. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe you're being a little rattled after that anthem. <laughs> and jumping center, Olivia Dean and Sam Smith. The ball's in the air, the tip controlled by Greenfield. We are underway. The green wave will shoot to the basket on our left. Frontier obviously will be going left to right here in the first half. Frontier comes out. Man defense, they go down low. Katie Hazelton, a little bit too strong from the right block. The ball goes out of bounds. It is off of Dean. It'll stay with Greenfield. Raquel Provost throwing in on the baseline, gets it into Reagan Hickey, deep on the right side. She gets a screen from Smith, takes it right down Broadway, puts it up around the rim and out, but a blocking foul called against Frontier. It seems amazing to me that Reagan Hickey is a senior. We've been watching her play basketball since she was in eighth grade. Yeah. She's I mean, uh, finally winding down her career. She's got to be playing somewhere else after this, I think, I would think. Well, her real sport, believe it or not, I mean, she's a thousand point scorer. She's well over that now. She got that relatively early last year. She misses the first wreath, though. Her main sport actually is field hockey. She's definitely playing field hockey in college and perhaps basketball as well. But she's an excellent softball player as well. Reagan hit the second free throw. Loose ball on the floor. Frontier is able to get away. The ball is tipped. That's going to be off Sam Smith out of bounds. Sobieski will throw in deep on the right side. Amelia? I uh, know, check that. That's going to be Dean. I think Greenfield's press is going to cause problems for Frontier. Olivia Dean. Gets it in to Ariana Walker. Walker will take it between the circles. And looking for some help. She had Marie Demon. And finally, Marie has it now between the circles, holding it. Yeah, we've got a three second violation called against the Hawks. Greenfield basketball. It's tempting to talk about front, uh, Greenfield's offensive skill, and they have great offensive skill, but their defense is also really good, too. And Frontier's going to have to really work hard. They get it into Reagan Hickey. She'll take it up. On the right side, tipped out of bounds. It's actually off Reagan, went off her knee, I guess, and the Red Hawks will get it back. That was good work by Sobieski to hassle her just so she dribbled it off her own leg. You don't see Reagan Hickey make that mistake very often. Ariana Walker brings it up. Dean squares up for three. Left side, that is good. She can shoot the three. You'll see her from the outside tonight. Frontier three. Greenfield one. Now a high pass goes to Raquel Provost. Poked away from behind. It's going to go off of Ariana Walker. It'll stay with the wave. Provost will throw in on the baseline. Gets the ball from official Robidoux. Into Katie Hazelton. Had it bounced out of bounds. That's off of Marie Demon. It'll stay with the wave. A frontier can be very tenacious. They might just rattle Greenfield a bit here early going. Yeah, I think they already have to a certain degree. They get it into Smith, working on the right side. They work it all the way around the horn. Reagan Hickey now will back it out. Little crossover dribble, and she had her pocket picked. Nice steal there by Sobieski, but Sobieski in turn loses the handle to Reagan Hickey. Hickey, nice little crossover dribble. She'll head down court, nope. loops up ahead, and couldn't make the connection with Katie Hazelton. Well, I'll tell you what, Sobieski has drawn the, the Hickey card, and she right now is winning that hand. 6.31 to play here in the first quarter. Frontier three, Greenfield one, Red Hawks with the basketball. Marie Demon well beyond the arc on the left side. Had her pocket pick by Hazelton, but got the ball back. Sobieski tried to loop it down low, tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Frontier. Plenty of time on the shot clock, 20 seconds. 
Olivia Dean will throw in on the baseline. Looking, looking to get it in. Throws it out deep to Ariana Walker. Nearly stolen by Provost. Walker to the line, to the lane. And she got blocked by Olivia Joy, but it looks like a blocking foul is going to go against Joy. Ariana Walker is so quick. Thought she had a lane there. That's a, that's a non-shooting foul. She was not hacked in the act. First foul on Greenfield, and obviously the first personal foul on OJ. On the right side, bank shot up and no good, but the putback by Marie Demon, no good. Another offensive rebound, Sobieski. They work it all the way around the left. Dean, they're gonna jump out on her. That's right, we shoot the three a moment ago. Top of the key, Walker, they go left side. Marie Demon up fakes, drives the lane, forces one up, no, but drew the foul on Greenfield. Hey, I love Marie Demon's game. We've been wa talk, watching her for a couple of seasons now, and she just is fearless out there, and that time she went right into the tall timber and drew the foul. And the foul is on Katie Hazelton, her first, second team foul on Greenfield. First free throw by Marie Demon up in good, and the junior will get one more here. She's one of the leaders of this team. Again, not a very uh, old team, only one senior, Ariana Walker. The rest are all under class. Second freebie is up and good. And Frontier has jumped out to a 5-1 lead. Pressing Greenfield in the backcourt. Hickey breaks the press, runs it up on the right. Into the right corner, now she'll back it out. Gets it to Sam Smith. Foul line had it poked away though by Frontier. Here come the Hawks the other way. Walker runs it up on the right. Cross court pass oh, Sobieski yeah, no. and they got her, she shuffled her feet. Didn't mean to go Zolak on you on there, but yeah, she definitely skipped her feet a little bit there. John Hickey's gonna call a timeout. Greenfield slow out of the gate. This is very similar to what we saw a year ago down here in South Deerfield. We'll take the break, 5.38 to play here in the first quarter and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is Frontier 5, Greenfield 1. High School Basketball on Bear Country, 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by all right, Attorney Dave, we'll uh, keep it at 30. Squad. We'll take it out of Sandra. We will keep it at 30. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Well, it's a very different situation on that Greenfield bench. When John Hickey first took over the program, they were one of the weakest in the area. And it was a lot of encouragement and positivity, and now he's got a veteran, talented team, and he definitely asks a lot of these girls, and he kind of lit them up on that bench. Well, Katie Hazelton blocked by Marie Demon, and they're gonna get Marie on the foul. I think that they've come out tentative, and maybe they coming out thinking that they've got this game won already, but I think it's early, and, uh, and Frontier's just you know, playing good defense right now. They're making it tough for Greenfield to get set. Hazelton will shoot two. First free throw is up, it rims out no good. She will get one more. One more for Katie, she sights it. Let's it fly, that one is good. So Hazelton makes one of two. Frontier five, Greenfield two, 5.30 to play here in the first quarter. So Bieski in the backcourt. Up ahead on the right, Marie Demon. Ooh, nearly dragged that pivot foot, but they do break the press. They loop it over on the right side. So Bieski open jumper, gets the bounce. She did get the bounce. That can be her shot if she heats up. And a foul going the other way as they headed down court. Uh, did he get a foul call? Looked like he motioned it for a foul. I don't think there are 22 team fouls. Yeah, the scoreboard is wrong. They may have met on number 22, Marie Demon, and she's off the court right now. So we'll figure that out. But it was a foul on Frontier, the 13th foul. Katie Hazelton between the circles, left side pass to Reagan Hickey. Little pick and roll action with Sam Smith. Power move, no good, but a blocking foul called against Olivia Dean. Yeah, they gotta get Sam Smith more involved in the offense. That pick and roll is a good example of what Hickey and Smith can do, and if she can camp out on that baseline, there's nobody on front two that's gonna be able to defend her very well. 
First of two is up by Smith. It is good. That makes it 7-3 Frontier. One more for Sam. Excellent goaltender on the Western Mass winning field hockey team. Great ball player in the hard court as usual. Second free throw is good as well. And she's a slugging shortstop on the diamond in the spring. Great all-around athlete. A lot of these basketball players are the same ones that played field hockey and softball. They break the press, but it's thrown away down low. Here comes Sam Smith taking it all the way through. Stops, pops from the right side, a little short, it's an air ball. Picked up in the backcourt there by Emilia Sobieski. Taking over across now is Walker, a little crossover dribble, trying to get away from Hazleton. Katie though sticking right with her. Bounce pass on the right side to Dean. All the way through, forces up a shot, no good. Back rim, but a blocking foul called against Greenfield. Looks like they got uh, did they get Olivia Joy on the block? Let's see. Yeah, it's two on OJ. And it looks like we are going to get Christina Reed into the Greenfield lineup here, probably for Olivia. Yeah, Liv Dean, of course, a powerhouse on that volleyball team this year. First free throw up and good. And yep, Olivia Joy will take a seat on the bench and Christina Reed gets her first minutes. 8-4 Frontier, one more for Dean. Spins it, dips, shoots, front rim no, offensive putback, Sobieski got it. Sobieski's having herself a game tonight. She came to play. Frontier 10, Greenfield 4. We're about halfway through this opening quarter. Frontier has already put up 20 on this very tough defensive Greenfield team. Top of the key, Provost. Can't get the shot away, passes over to Reagan Hickey. That's push pass left side to Hazleton. Nearly got her pocket pick. Shot clock down to 10. Oh. And look to throw it down low. But the intended recipient was going the other way. Yeah. Greenfield is not in sync right now. Not even close. I tell you, the longer this goes on, the more they will be in trouble. Many people think Greenfield has a chance to run the table regular season. Possibly. It'll be tough to do. Now Frontier throws it away. Picky up ahead to Provost. Gets it back. To Christina Reed, here comes Reagan, left side, peels back, Raquel Provost left of the lane, takes it to the foul line, now it's Sam Smith, cuts all the way through, puts up a shot, no, but a blocking foul called against the Red Hawks. Well, Sam Smith attacking the basket, that's what you gotta do, especially when you're scuffling a bit as a team. It's gotta have, this is when people like Smith and Hickey and the leaders of this team, Hazleton, have to really go hard at the basket. First free throw by Sam Smith is good. And for Frontier into the lineup is Abby Roberts. Greenfield has yet to make a field goal yeah. in this first quarter. All foul shots. Yeah, and we're four minutes and 13 seconds in. Second free throw is good. And that makes it 10-5 and a timeout called by Frontier. We will step aside. Three minutes, 47 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Nice start for the Red Hawks. Frontier leads it 10-6 on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Bear Country, 95.3. So it will be Frontier basketball after the two made free throws by Sam Smith. And again, they've got Abby Roberts out there, just a sophomore. She wears the number 10. Also out there is uh, Caitlin Mackin. Dean throwing in on the baseline, having a little bit of trouble. Does get into Roberts, but they're going to get her with a travel as she's being pestered by Hazelton. Yeah, good defense by Hazelton. Forced that turnover. Provost will throw it on the side. Nope, they're gonna take her down to the baseline. Greenfield with the same starting five except for Reed and for Joy. Reagan Hickey, foul line right. Tipped away, nice defense, but recaptured by Reagan. Down low to Smith all by herself. Banks it in from the right block. That is the first field goal for Greenfield. And the wave now back to within two, it's 10-8. Mackin throws it up on ahead. They pass it over to the left side. Sobieski passes, it gets tipped off of Reagan Hickey. It'll stay with the Red Hawks, 20 to shoot. Ariana Walker will check back in and Roberts will come back out. Moment a little bit big for her, but we'll see her later on in the game. Rick Rickor is telling his girls to calm down a bit there, a little bit out in front of things. And Greenfield now really starting to dig in defensively. They nearly got a steal, but it comes back down the frontier. Bad shot. 
That's Reagan Hickey off a feed from Smith. Reagan to the line, to the lane. Three point bomb put up by Hazelton. Too strong, misses badly actually. Rebound picked up. Sobieski to Dean, the lay in is a little bit too strong, no good. They squandered a golden opportunity there. All by herself, Smith down the other end, put it up, no, but a foul call down low. It's gonna go against Mackin. Your frontier, you can't miss too many of those open shots like that. And of course, Smith came back down the other way and drew the foul. Frontier's gotta make every basket that is relatively easy like that, because Greenfield doesn't give him away. Well, Sam Smith stands six feet tall, but she can run from baseline to baseline with the best of them, with, with girls that are much shorter than her, and she, and she can handle that basketball. Substitution for Frontier. We got Macy Ring, sophomore, just checked in number 14, and sitting down is Charlotte Dulac. One more for Smith, a chance to tie the game. It's on the way. It is good. 10-10, 257 to play here in the first quarter. Here comes Mackin. On the left side, pass on the right side, picked up by Hazelton. Greenfield now looking to take the lead for the first time tonight after an early struggle. Hazelton at the center court circle, gets a screen from Smith. Kitty takes it right to the rack, puts it up and in. And here come the green wave. Their first lead, it is 12-10. Now they dig in defensively, trying to provoke some turnovers. They nearly got one right there, but Mackin takes it across. Left side pass, Sobieski, the runner is up and a little bit short. Coming away with it is Hazelton. The wave looks to run. Katie runs it up. Left of the lane. Stops at the head of the circle. Little crossover dribble. Gets it to Sam Smith. Fakes the three. Drives through. Goes for the bank. No good. Hazelton the put back. Yes! Great position by Hazelton to go in and get that rebound. Greenfield 14-10 now. They're on a big time run here. And a five second call on Frontier. As Sobieski just could not get that ball inbound. Olivia Dean rather could not get the ball inbounded. So it goes right back to Greenfield. Well, it looks like the butterflies are out of the wave and the tsunami is about to begin. Well, it's a 10-0 run right now. It was 10-4 seemingly a moment ago and uh, Coach Recor asking uh, coach, uh, officials for an explanation on that last call. He perhaps didn't think it was five seconds. Bree Rivera just checked in and that pass is picked off by Frontier. Walker gets it left side to ring. They dump it down low. Mackin, they're working on the right side. Sobieski for three, short. Came down to Smith, off her leg. Here comes Hazelton. Hazelton takes it, top of the key, left side to Hickey. Reagan's gonna go left baseline, off the window and in. Yeah, this is why this is this, the team is number three in the state. 12-0 run, tipped out of bounds by Hazelton. Yeah, they caught their sea legs, I would say. No doubt about that. Dulette is back in now for Frontier, and sitting down is Mackin. Sobieski's the three is not her shot. She's better off on the block. So if she's jacking up threes, that means the Red Hawks are out of, out of sync and discombobulated. Dean looking to throw and gets it into Sobieski. Sobieski double team, pass is tipped. They come away with it and a reach and foul called against Reagan Hickey, just a little over aggressive on the D. I think Reagan thought she had the poke there and got hand, not ball, and that's a foul. So it is Olivia Dean who will be inbounding on her own baseline. Throws in to Ariana Walker. Her pass batted down by Smith. And a nice dish on the right side. Smith the Hickey lays it up and in. You're not going to get that cheese by Smith. That's not going to happen. 14-0 run for the Green Wave. Timeout Frontier. A minute 15 to play first quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's now Greenfield 18, Frontier 10 on Bear Country 95.3. Well, that did not take long. It was 10-4 Frontier. Now it's 18-10 Greenfield, and it happened pretty darn quickly. Yeah, whatever whatever happened in that first part of that first quarter, it's things have changed dramatically. We'll see if Frontier can counterpunch here. They inbound the ball. It's Charlotte Dulette in the backcourt, taking it across is Olivia Dean. In the right corner to Sobieski, a pass tipped down by Smith, who's everywhere. And Sam's gonna take it, coast to coast. Gives it up on the right side, put up and in by Reed. Yeah, pretty much all Greenfield right now. Now uh, Sam Smith is just one tremendous basketball player. Sobieski, uh, Dean got it in. Olivia gets it back, being pestered by Reagan Hickey. Pass picked up by Christina Reed. Free lane to the bucket, couldn't convert though. 
And a whistle on a foul on Greenfield on the rebound. And the press is absolutely killing Frontier right now. Greenfield is just not letting them get the ball, cleanly out of their own end of the floor. And when they get it past the timeline, they're rushing to the basket. They're out of sync. Katie Hazelton's going to check out. She just got whistled for her first foul. And uh, Bree Rivera back in for Greenfield. Tipped away. Recaptured, though, by Charlotte Dulette. Gets it on the left side to Dean. Olivia into the front court, guarded closely by Reagan Icky. Bit of wraparound pass, loose ball on the floor. Big battle for it. And we got a shoving foul on Greenfield. We do. Wow. Went into that bench is hard there. Oops. I hope no one got hurt on that one. 16 foul on the way. First personal foul called against Raquel Provost. Dean inbounding on the sideline right. Throws it. Top of the key, Sobieski holding there. It's a screen, left of the lane. Get it back to Mackin. Shot clock's off, 18 seconds left here in the quarter. Reverse lay-in attempt. Oh. And blocked, but picked up on the right side and put up and in. Nicely done there by Macy Rain. That breaks a long drought. Breaks a 14-0 drought. Greenfield comes back, four seconds left. Reed misses from the left side. Front and has it, two seconds. One, and they're not gonna get a shot off. End of one here in South Deerfield, and our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard Greenfield 20, Frontier 12. This is high school basketball on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. All right, second quarter is underway. 20 to 12 in favor of Greenfield. And Dean throws it in. Ooh, nearly an out-of-bounds pass there, but pulled down by Caitlin Mackin. Top of the key, here comes Dean. Finds a seam, goes for the banking, got it. Nice play. A great play. Back now comes Greenfield, Reagan Hickey left side. Christina Reed pass on the right side, Raquel Provost, and they're gonna get it with a travel as she was being closely guarded there by Mackin. Yeah, Mackin's got that shoulder heavily wrapped. I'm not sure what's going on there, but she looks like she's in a certain amount of pain. And I think she's gonna be coming out. No, check that. Ring will check out of the Red Hawk lineup. Back in is Ariana Walker. He inbound it to Dulette, so Frontier has, uh, for now, braved the storm. They're making a little run of their own. They're down by six, coming all the way through. Dean, here comes Ariana Walker in the paint. Losing the handle, nice play by Provost. And we have a hell ball. The arrow will favor Greenfield. Good hustle by Provost. Get in there and trying to battle with Walker for the ball. Mm -hmm. Frontier with some passive backcourt pressure, not really trapping. And now they'll relax into their half-court offense. Reagan Hickey walks it across the timeline. Angles to the right, bounce pass over to Bree Rivera. Rivera to the line, to the lane, throws up the runner, no good. Greenfield getting a little cold now from the floor. And back quickly now comes the Red Hawks. Walker between the circles, looking for the cutter down low, can't quite get it there. Swings the pass on the right side. Nice sub fake. So Bieski try to get it back down low, led her teammate a little bit too far. That was Dean, here comes Reagan Hickey all the way through. Picks it right side to Rivera. Bree threads the needle. Puts up a shot, no good, but a blocking foul called against the Hawks. Well, Bree Rivera went in there strong and drew the foul. She saw quite a bit of playing time last year. That was the third personal foul, by the way, 
on Olivia Dean. That they, is they not can, good. No, they can ill afford to lose her. She's one of their better players. Yeah, she's going to have to come off here, probably for the rest of the half. Marie Dean is going to come in. First free throw by Rivera is no good. And Brianna will get one more. She's part of the future of this team. She's a junior. She'll be a senior leader. Christina Reed coming back. Hazelton, obviously. Raquel Provost. Second free throw. That one is no good. And looks like we have a lane violation on Greenfield. So the shot didn't go, but it wouldn't have counted anyway. It'll be Frontier Ball. It's a two-possession game, 20 to 14. They get it into Walker. Walker back to Marie Demon. Marie will take it across herself on the left side. A little push pass on the left side. Coming through, the runner is up and short. But they get the offensive put back. Demon got rejected down low. Loose ball, it's battered around. And it comes down to Christina Reed. Here comes Rainfield back the other way. On the break, Reagan Hickey to the line, to the lane. Dumps it down low. Shot up no good as Smith was a little out of position. And now a foul on Greenfield as Frontier was able to come away with the rebound with Amelia Sobieski. Yeah, Frontier's digging back in, trying to get back into this one. And yeah. that'll be the uh, seventh team foul on Greenfield. So we are into the one and one first foul on Christina Reed. Off on the right side, Amelia Sobieski. Front end of the one and one is on its way and it misses. Battle for the rebound. Comes down the frontier. Nice hustle points there. They get it right back down low. Ring yep. is going to get called for steps. Well, that was just a great job of defending right there. I was, that was Reed that made that happen. Made her just spin around like a top almost. Kovos will inbound on her own baseline, looking to get it in. Finally does to Reagan Hickey. Reagan accelerates into the front court. Nice pass down low to Reed. Went for the bank on the left side. No good. Greenfield made a good play. Didn't happen now. Bree Rivera back on defense. And we got a blocking foul called against her as she wasn't able to get her feet set. Yeah, I'll tell you, that was, that was close. I wasn't sure if they were going to get her for a charge. But Demon will go to the line instead. First foul on Rivera. First one's on the way. Front rim, no good. She'll get one more here. So Greenfield continues to lead by six. Again, if you're just joining us, Frontier got off to a 10-4 lead. Greenfield went on a 14-0 run to take an 18-10 lead. And now it's 20-15. So it's a 5-2 Red Hawk run now. It's been a game of runs. And they're back to within five. Two-possession game. Rivera, tricky dribbles. Throws a pass Ooh. too high over Christina Ray, Ray, Reed's head. And it goes back to Frontier. So Greenfield's backed off the press a little bit, although they're pressing here. Demon throws a pass, oh. batted down. Reed picks it up for Greenfield, but in turn, it gets stolen right back by Marie Demon. Sobieski loses control on the baseline, and play has gotten very ragged right now. Goes out of bounds, back to the wave. Yeah, I was just going to say, both sides of the ball, neither, neither one of these teams is covering themselves with glory right now, but... Provost having trouble getting the ball in. Five second violation. Yeah, John Hickey, look at he is he's not pleased with what's going on here. Yeah, they had no one, he had no one to go to though. Everybody was pretty much covered. Yeah, you can't, you know, you just can't sleep. I know it's a young team. They are. I'm talking about Frontier, but you just can't sleep on no. teams from this school in general. Shot is up a double dribble though, it's called against Sobieski. So another turnover back to Greenfield. Again, leading by five, five and a half to play here in the first half. Our halftime report coming up now. Greenfield throws the ball away as that one goes off the hands. Ricky's head is buried in his hands. Oh, for, for, yeah, look at him. If his face gets much redder, they're going to mistake it for Mr. Heat Miser. <laughs> oh, that's good, Chris. Thank you. Sobieski, deep on the left. They tried to feed the paint. Picked off, though, by Reagan Hickey. Reagan will accelerate right in front of us. Runs it up on the left. Now she'll pull it back. And Greenfield will set up the offense. Reagan Hickey, push pass right side, Rivera. That's Christina Reed, pull up pop on the right side, no good. Battle for the rebound, held ball. Wait a minute, two officials have to confer. One person had a foul call, the other one had a held ball. So Patala and O'Neill will chat. Traveling. And it's traveling.
And back in right now for Frontier is Ring. Marie Demon gets it in to Sobieski. They'll run it over on the right side. Dulette looking for some help. Bounce pass on the right side, Marie Demon. To the foul line. Offensive foul drawn nicely there by Raquel Provost. Well um, done. Yeah, she took, uh, yeah, she's okay, but yeah, you can see she, a lot of contact there, Raquel. Not that tall in stature, but she saw him very strong. But she, uh, she took the brunt, literally took it for the team right there. All right, Rui Rivera in the backcourt. Tricky dribbles past ring, picks it up on the left side to Rivera. Sam Smith, foul line jumper, in and out, no good. Rebound had, comes to Frontier. Had a clean look at it, no excuse. Ariana Walker on the right wing. Costco pass the left to Demon. Sobieski in the left corner. She'll go baseline. The leaner is a little bit too strong. Tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Frontier. And Abby Roberts, who was out there for about 10 seconds in the first quarter. She's out there now. And Marie Demon will take us in the bench. Walker will throw another baseline out of a stack into Roberts deep on the right. And a foul called against Reed as she tried to poke the ball away from Dulette. And Dulette will go to the line. Dulette is the daughter of former Turner's Falls Athletic Director Glenn Dulette. Now works down West Springfield. I'm pretty sure her brother plays on the boys team too. Could be wrong about that. First of the one and one, went for the bank, no good. Comes out to Reed. Reed got it to Reagan Hickey. Halfway through the second quarter, Greenfield with a five point lead, but they have uh, gone ice cold here. Reagan Hickey on the right side. She'll go baseline, shuffle pass to Reed, right for the bank, got it. I was wrong about that, by the way. Reed makes Ooh. it 22 15. Now a reaching foul call, who they get? That's going to go against Raquel That's Provost. Against Provost, that was a clear bump. It's two, Macy Ring. And that is two on her, so Ring now will go to the line. That's the 10th team foul, so now double bonus. So the Hawks now for the rest of this first half, every time there's a foul, they'll be shooting two. First of two is up, and it is good. Tonight's game is brought to you by the Athol Credit Union, Galensky Landscaping, and the Greenfield Police Association. One more for Ring. And that one is no good. In fact, it never touched iron. It went off. It wasn't an air ball. It hit the side of the backboard. And so Greenfield now will get the ball. Roll them down from their baseline. Hickey in the backcourt. Reagan will walk it across. Being guarded closely there by Sobieski. Kicks him near the right side. Getting helped out there by Roberts. Gets it to Sam Smith from the right side, and she hits the little bunny from Great the right play. baseline. Good shot. Greenfield back up by eight now, 24 to 16. Traveling call on Roberts as she couldn't quite deal with the defensive containment. Substitutions for Frontier. Who do we got? We've got Ring coming off, and we've got Mackin coming back in. Provost will inbound on the baseline into Hickey in the left corner. Reagan holding it over her head. Now puts it to the floor, gets a screen from Reed. Reagan all the way through, puts up the shot, blocking foul call though against the Hawks, and Reagan will go to the line for two. Looks like Reagan Hickey grew out a little bit in the offseason. She's a little bit taller. Yeah, she's uh, 5'10 now, listed at 5'10. First free throw is no good. And she will get one more. Of course, her dad's about 6'3 or so. Second one is on the way. That one is good. 25-16, Greenfield by nine. Greenfield now really pressing in the backcourt, but broken easily by the Hawks. So Bieski takes it across on the right, guarded by Smith. Backs it out. Sam now goes in. For the steal, can't quite get it. Mackin gets it away to Dulet. Shot clock now at 10. Sobieski left the lane, working on Smith. Comes through, puts up the shot. No, but a blocking foul called against Greenfield. 
Sobieski going strong to the hoop, and that's going to be two shots for her. Sobieski, a bit of a streaky shooter. She she really got did a good job the other night against Palmer. But she can uh, put score in bunches when given the opportunity. First free throw is good. I see there's a decent visiting crowd from Greenfield. Oh, this uh, team's going to travel well. There's a lot of expectations, I think. Definitely a fun team to watch. Second free throw, no good. Smith clears the board. 25-17, Greenfield by eight. Three minutes to play. I would like to see the general public come out a little more, though. I mean, this is a this is a once, not a once in a lifetime, but maybe a once in a generation team. Reagan Hickey for three, top of the key, book it. Oh boy. Makes it a 27 7 now. Oh, that should have been three. I'll have to check that score. Sobieski goes right around oh. Smith. It rims out on her. Out of bounds. It will stay with Frontier. Well, they, Greenfield was up by eight, and I thought that was a three by Hickey. Should have been a three. So, should have been 28 17. I think Greenfield got shortchanged one point, but maybe not. Maybe they did rule it a two, but I thought I saw Fischel O'Neill's arms go up. Roberts. Can't control it, goes off her hands, out of bounds. And they inbound the ball to Hickey. In the backcourt, Reagan will take it across between the circles. Hickey now left her lane, gets it up to Christina Reed. Bree Rivera on the right side. Gets it back to Hickey, shot clock down to 12. Hickey, Christina Reed. On the right wing, comes into the corner, back to Hickey, seven to shoot. They dump it down low to Smith. Power move, puts it up and in. Yeah, that's pretty tough to defend when she decides, makes up her mind to go to the basket, you're not gonna stop her. 29-17, we believe, a 12-point lead, and now Greenfield's defense provokes another turnover as they airmail the pass. That's exactly what's happening. Every time Greenfield steps up defensively, Frontier buckles a little bit, and it gives Greenfield a chance to open that lead up a little more. Just under two minutes to play here in the half. Again, our halftime report coming up. We'll talk a little bit girls hoop, but we'll talk boys hoop too. Specifically the Frontier boys off to a good start. Hickey, another three right side. That is good for three. And that makes it 32-17. Greenfield's open up a 15 point lead. Roberts to Sobieski. Sobieski takes it across. Dean again is on the bench with foul trouble. She has three and that's Really hurt them at this point. Sobieski though makes a nice move. A little bit too strong with the shot. Christina Reed, the rebound. Got it back to Hickey. Hickey will take it across. She's playing the point right now with Katie Hazelton on the bench. Hickey, right wing. Stops there. Down low to Smith. Back to Hickey. 12 to shoot. Hickey, runner in the lane. Gets the bounce. Oh, suddenly Reagan Hickey is knocking shots in from all over the court. 34-17, Greenfield now has doubled up on the Hawks. Under a minute to play here in the first half. Sobieski, deep between the circles. Good. Looks to pass out of that. And a foul called on Hickey as she went over the back of Roberts trying to deny Abby the ball. Yeah, she'd like to have that one back, I think. A little over aggressive. So Abby Roberts will go to the free throw line. And she'll be shooting too. I like her game. I think she's a, she's a spitfire. Yep, when she first came out, it looked like the moment was just a little bit too much for her. And Coach Recor wisely got her off the court, just went to talk to her, said, okay, we're, you're gonna get back out there. When you do, just settle down. It's a very likable team. They're all good kids, they play hard. Roberts misses both free throws. The second one just barely tickled the twine, so Greenfield will inbound. They will sub. And Joy will come in for Hickey. Joy picked up two quick fouls, but she's out there now. Takes the inbounds pass, got it back to Raquel Provost, who just came back in, Provost. Into the front court, she'll be the point guard right now. And a high post to Smith. Shuffle pass to Christina Reed. Dumps it right back down low to Smith. Turnaround shot is off the back iron, no good. Sobieski, the rebound, got her arms tangled up with Reed. They're gonna get Christina Reed on the personal foul. <laughs> I like watching Hick coach. Yeah. We walk our dogs together several times a week over in Shattuck Park, uh, and he 
he knows he has a team that could do special things this year, but he says he, he's going he's gonna to push them. He wants to get everything out of this team. First free throw rims out no good, so Frontier not helping them at the free throw line. I mean, and he's right. Greenfield is good, but they have shown they're not infallible. And right. if they're not ready for another team's best punch, they could, they could get taken out for sure. Second free throw no good, but Dulek got the rebound. She's having some trouble. Three second violation. Greenfield gets it back. Shot clock off. 13.8 seconds left in the half. Provost will inbound on her own baseline. Gets it into Smith. Up ahead to Joy. Two on one break. Joy, her pass picked off though by Walker. Seven seconds left. Gets it over. Sobieski, three seconds. Puts up a deep three. No good. And that'll do it. We are at halftime here. Good no gymnasium. I believe we've, yeah, okay. I thought for a minute maybe we still had a little time left here. Halftime here. Good no gymnasium in South Deerfield and our score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, the Greenfield Green Wave 34 and the Frontier Red Hawks 17. Stay tuned, the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. And welcome to the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report. We're in South Deerfield today, Good New Gymnasium Frontier Regional. And the Greenfield Green Wave looking to go 4-0 on the young season. They lead Frontier 34-17 at halftime. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins, courtside here. And we got Dave Reno in our Greenfield studio. So Chris, we have a halftime score which seems appropriate. Maybe what we would think we would have had coming in, but it's how we got there that I think was a little bit of a surprise. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, Greenfield came out first couple minutes very flat, kind of discombobulated. Frontier played some good defense. But then Greenfield took it to the next level, which is they often do, and they went on a huge run. And then Frontier came back a little bit, but then, and then Greenfield just came back in, in the end of that second quarter. And once again, defense spurred the offense. And it's so often the case with great teams that have both ends of the ball covered. When they play good defense, good things happen on offense, and that was what happened for Greenfield tonight. Yeah, Greenfield's transition offense has been really good. Their perimeter shooting a little bit off, actually. Reagan Hickey did hit the 1-3. She had another one. I double-checked at the scores table, and they did they did say that that first, what we thought was a 3, was a 2. So the score is correct, 34-17. But obviously a phenomenal talent. And Sam Smith on both ends. I mean, how many times was she batting down balls? How many times was she getting it down low and just Quick little turn of the shoulders, takes it right uh, right to right to the bucket. It's just almost, almost impossible to defend down there. Well, Reagan Hickey, you know, I told you, Hickey and, and Smith are the one-two punch in this team. Hickey had 13 points, but it's probably the quietest 13 points you're ever going to see her score. It was not a good first half for her, but she got, you know, she did what she had to do. But Smith, there's just nobody that can defend her. I, I think you're going to find that to be the case most times they play. You're going to have a tough time putting somebody on that six-foot-tall drink of water and keeping her out of the score sheet and from dominating the baseline. If they can feed her more in the second half, Greenfield's going to win this thing going away. Well, again, Greenfield, as a uh, basketball dynasty, they've been, they've been building this thing for the last several years. Uh, the one thing that was not on their resume was a trip to the cage. They took care of that last year. Ultimately, they bow out in overtime, a great game down at the cage against Hampshire Regional. They would like to make it to championship Saturday. They are the odds on favorite to do so within their division. But again, a lot of basketball between now and then. We'll take a time out here in our halftime report. We'll come back. We will talk about Frontier Boys basketball. When we come back after this on Bear Country 95.3. 
Back here at halftime as the uh, Greenfield Green Wave out here getting ready for the second half or awaiting the Frontier girls. Now let's talk about the Frontier boys. You have covered them and you know when you talk Hampshire League basketball, um, you know, things have shifted. You know, Hopkins Academy, they've they've come back to the pack now. Some teams are kind of rising up a little bit. But Frontier, I mean, talk about the Greenfield girls, it's been brewing for a while. The Frontier boys, kind not, not exactly the same thing, but man, they're they are gonna be dangerous to well, deal with. They, they rolled up Ludlow in the home open the other night, 81 to 50, I think it was, without Karsten Carey. Karsten Carey has a hip flexor, but his brother Peter <laughs> threw down about five dunks. They stuck like six or seven threes in the second half. I mean, it's it's a deadly, potentially a deadly combination. They've got a bunch of different combinations that were working. Now, Ludlow, not a strong team, but I got a funny feeling Frontier is going to make some, a lot of noise as this season goes on. Pioneer, of course, they're the defending uh, Western Match champions. They'll have something to say about that. And people are keeping a close eye on Greenfield. They're off to a 3-1 start. They have a tremendous, uh, tremendously talented new basketball coach who's back at his alma mater, kind of putting his stamp on the program. And I was wondering how long it was going to take him to put his stamp on the program. It looks like it happened immediately. <laughs> yeah, and, and he comes in with something to prove. He should have gotten the job last time, a lot of people feel. And I think, yeah. I think Angelo wants to make a statement in the first season that, yeah, you, this, is, this is where I belong. This is my program. All right, second half is underway. Frontier with the ball, but they have some work to do. They trail 34 to 17. Griefer comes out in a zone, a 2-3 zone. And nearly thrown away. Nice save there by Dulette. Dumped the ball down low, but traveling. We're going the other way. Decent pass by Dulette, but Rocker just took an extra step. When you are going up against Greenfield's defense, I mean, you know, do you have to be perfect? No, it's impossible, but you have to really really be on and really mind your P's and Q's. I agree. If not, you're probably going to turn it over. They're going to make you pay one way or the other. Reagan Hickey, left baseline, left wing rather for three, no good. Battle for the rebound. And oh. Dean, got, Dean had it, but she was out of bounds at the time. So Greenfield will get the ball. And throwing in is Raquel Provo has got it to Smith. Her turnaround shot from the right baseline, in and out, no good. Here comes Marie Demon up ahead on the left to Dean, who missed a lot of time in the first half with uh, foul trouble. Her pass gets picked off by Reagan Hickey. Reagan accelerates into the front court, takes it all the way through. Scoop shot is short. Rebound taken down by Dean. Dean will run it up. Olivia, head of the circle, left side pass. Ariana Walker. Walker throws left corner to Sobieski. Sobieski puts it to the floor, runs into a double team, got it back to Dulette. Shot clock now down to 12. Bounce pass left side. Here comes Sobieski again. Poked away though by Hickey. Hickey finds a clear lane, goes all the way through, lays it up and in. Hickey is so good at that. She's got that poke thing down to a science. 36-17. Greenfield by 19 points. But again, Frontier has played pretty well. They, the turnovers have racked up lately, but I, I, I like what they've tried to do all night long. Right. They have not been a train wreck at all. Coming through now. Little scoop shot. Olivia Dean a little bit too strong. Hickey gets the rebound. Long pass up ahead to Smith. A little bit too far for Sam. Could not corral it. Back to Frontier. Frontier's a good team. Skilled, but they're a young team. And, and I, you're right, they, once they get their legs under them, they're going to be tough, although this is a, a very tough team they're playing tonight. Well, for seniors, they have Walker, and that would be it. That would be it. Everybody else will be coming back next year. Greenfield's losing three seniors, but three key seniors. Block by Smith on that dribble drive penetration. Here comes Katie Hazelton. Hazelton between the circles, right side to Hickey. Push pass right side. Provost for three, a little bit too strong. Rebound taken down by Sobieski. Sobieski takes it into the front court, stops at the head of the circle. Looking to the right, loops the pass over there to Walker. Nice quick entry pass, but a traveling call. That's going to go against Duet. Yeah, Duet had a tough time, got bottled up in the paint there and took the extra step. Yeah, Greenfield's the seniors. Who are they going to lose this year? Well, only Olivia Joy. Samantha Smith and Reagan Hickey. Yeah. So, but they're not, they're not going to be rebuilding next year by any stretch. They have no. a lot of talent coming back, but and they've got some talent coming up as well. And they got a good JV program too. So. Coming through Smith, kind of a tough angle shot along the left baseline, no good. So she's missed her last few times. Back quickly comes Sobieski, stops on the wing, 
Takes to the foul line, open for a shot. Short on that one, an attempted save. Nicely done there down low by Duet. Sobieski on the right side. Dean's gonna launch a three, that is no good. Battling again for the rebound. Frontier gets it back. Oh, Rejected oh. down low oh. by Smith. A loud block. Get that out of here. Oh my, that was Shaq-esque. Huge block on Dulet. On the right side, it's Hickey. Hickey holding there. They work it around. On the left side, Raquel Provost back to Katie Hazelton. Shot clock at 10. Reagan Hickey will take a three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound comes back to Greenfield. Katie Hazelton turns, she'll shoot a three. Back rim, no. Greenfield pulled again from the perimeter. Frontier on the break, all the way through. Dean puts it up, no good. Put back, yes. And a quick timeout is called by Frontier. We'll step aside. 4.13 to play here in the third quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Greenfield 36, Frontier 19. This is Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Greenfield is out there with Provost Hazelton. Hickey, Smith, and Joy. So that's actually their starting five from the beginning of the game. And for Frontier, Demon, Dean, Sobieski, Mackin, and Dulet. Rico with the ball. Halfway through the third, they lead by 17. Hazelton, top of the key. Bounce pass right side to Hickey. Her leaner from 16 is short. So Greenfield's shooting struggles do continue. Sobieski on the right side to Mackin at a high post. It's Dulet traveling. She took that extra step before she dribbled the ball. Yeah, Greenfield is a little bit cold right now, but it's not hurting them right now because Frontier is equally as cold. So neither one of these teams are tearing it up in terms of point production. Greenfield's only put two points on the board. And it, it, both teams, two points on the board this quarter. Yeah, and we're four minutes and 20 seconds in. Hazelton, they work at left side to Provost. Passes over to Joy, left corner to Hickey. Hickey will go left baseline, gets it to Smith. Nice ball movement. Hazelton, little crossover dribble, wraparound pass back. 18 foot J by Provost, no good. Rebound comes to Dulet. Charlotte gets it over to Marie Demon. The pass picked off by Hazelton, comes down to Hickey. Reagan to the foul line, curls back on the left wing, waits for her teammates to come. Passes right side to Hazelton. Katie back to Hickey. Provost, foul line left. Down low to Joy, got rejected. Nice defensive play there by Dean. Here comes Sobieski on the right side. Sobieski's gonna take it up against Smith. Rejected again by Sam, out of bounds. Oh my. Yeah, she pretty much owns that part of the floor right now. Christina Reed and Bree Rivera in. Joy and Hazelton out for the Lady Wave. Winter inbound the ball on the baseline. They get it down low. Sobieski turn, shoots another partial block by Smith, but there to convert down low was number 15, Olivia Dean. Liv Dean right there, cleaning up the glass. Greenfield's lead's been as big as 19. Right now it's at 15. 36-21, see if Frontier can get it down to single digits before the end of the quarter. And we could have a game here. Bree Rivera left to the lane, traveling. Nice D by the Hawks. Yeah, again, that was Olivia Dean, Charlotte Dulet. Frontier's a different team with Dean on the floor. She really is a difference maker. 
And again, she missed uh, long stretches. Look at Hick on the first line. <laughs> yeah, he's getting redder and redder. I missed her. He, Miser. Marie Demon on the right wing. Top of the key. They go to Walker from 18. Too strong the other way. No good. Battle for the rebound. Comes down to Marie Demon. Goes up strong. No. Another offensive rebound. Got it. Sticking with it. Marie Demon. She is tough. 36-23. Greenfield's 19-point lead is down to 13 now. As their offense really struggling. You know, pretty much for the whole night. They did go through that stretch where they were getting a lot of transition buckets. Now it's Sam Smith. Her jumper is no good. Yeah, she's cooled way off, too. Yeah, and no rebounding either. It's one and done again. Frontier can get it a little bit closer now. Demon, left side pass to Dean. Olivia Dean throws up the running. Oh, just rimmed down on her. No good. Got her all rebound. Off the window. No. The Frontier saves it for the time being. And they do get it back. Sobieski will slow things down. They'll set up their offense. This is a big possession right here. The Frontier scores. We may see a Greenfield timeout, actually. They dump it down low. Loose ball. Picked up another block on Smith, but a foul. I thought she got all ball, but apparently not. Oh, I looked like an all ball right there, but Frontier got a break. I think even Sam was shocked. And Mackin will go to the line, shooting two. First one is no good. That could have been pleasant, too. Mackin with that shoulder strapped up, got blocked hard. She's hanging in there, though. Hazelton in, Provost out for the Lady Wave. Second one for Mackin. It's on the way. That one is back room, no good. Comes down to Hickey. Minute to play here in the third, Greenfield by 13. Hickey, left of the lane. Little spin move. Back to Katie Hazelton. has been very quiet offensively tonight, but she can go off at any moment. Excellent perimeter shooter and penetrator. She has it right now. Jump pass down low to Smith. The leaner, yes. Little pick and roll. Nicely done. That works for them. Greenfield by 15, 38-23. 38 seconds left here in the third. Olivia Dean on the right side. Her pass, though, picked off. They try to get it down low. Smith, long pass thrown away. And the head goes into the hand again on the Greenfield bench. Deep on the left side, Marie Demon. Last court pass, foul line jumper by Sobieski is no good. Marie Demon fighting for that basketball, couldn't quite come up with it. Comes down the Reagan Hickey, dribble, uh, dribbles out of a double team, still has it on the right side. Pull up pop for the right is too strong, no good. Off of Sam Smith on the rebound. Frontier has it, 4.6 seconds left in the quarter. They gotta go coast to coast here. I'd roll the ball here if they can. Refield's back in their half court D. Just roll the ball. No, they kinda looped it up. Four seconds, three, two. Right side, deep three ball put up, no good by Dean. End of three here at Goodno Gymnasium, Nine South 50, Deerfield. 50 and on the Greenfield oh. Savings Bank scoreboard, it's the Greenfield Green Wave 38 and the Frontier Red Hawks 23. Fourth quarter action coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. I didn't realize that. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Dave Call has his not tried to. Call 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years. Is this? I think. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. He gets the jetpack. Holiday you Pizza here. in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Goodbye. Okay. Play back on, Hazleton now with the ball for Greenfield to start the fourth quarter. Hazleton to Rivera. Goes in the right corner to Hickey. Hickey on the right elbow with the ball. Reagan runs across court, top of the key. Hickey back over to Bree Rivera. 
Back over to Hick. Hick to Hazelton, right side. In the corner to Reed. And shot up and a foul. And it's gonna be Samantha Smith going to the line for two shots. Again, the wave leads 38-23, 7.36 to go in the game. Frontier actually outshot, outscored rather, Greenfield 6-4 to four in that third quarter. Smith's first foul shot is good. She will get one more. And makes them both. 40-23, Greenfield by 17. Ariana Walker now bringing it up the floor for the Red Hawks. Walker, left side it goes to Demon. Demon on the baseline to Olivia Dean and out of bounds. We're going back the other way. Greenfield gets the turnover. Bree Rivera now to inbound to Hazleton. And Katie Hazleton bring the ball up, crosses the timeline. Katie runs right side. Runs down the corner, gets a lane shot up, partially blocked by Dean, who gets the rebound. And they're going back the other way. Liv Dean up ahead to Demon. Marie up fakes. Jumper from 12. Back iron no good. Rebound Dean. Dean with the putback. Defended well by Smith. No good. Hickey the rebound. Now Hazleton with the ball. Hazleton. Left side it goes to Bree. To Hickey on the left elbow. Back to Hazleton. Smith, top of the key, driving through, running one-hander. No good, but she draws the foul. So Greenfield's uh, Sam Smith goes to the line. And she'll be shooting two here. That is four fouls now on Dean of Frontier. She got in foul trouble in the first, that for a lengthy stretch. And now with four fouls and her team down by 17, we'll see. Right now she's out there. Coach Ricor hasn't pulled her. I think you got to leave her out there. Yeah. I, I, don't, I think it's a different team without her on the floor. Yep, it's a uh, cost-benefit kind of situation. Free throw is good. 41-23. We apologize for the audio difficulties that we had a moment ago, but we're back. It's early in the fourth quarter. Greenfield leads by 18 points. And Frontier game, though, trying a yeah, very game tonight. And they just hit down low. Nice bucket there by Mackin. Yeah. Well defended, but she got it. 41-26 on the right side. It's Christina Reed. Her pass picked off. Nice play. Beautifully done, but it ends up coming down to Hazelton. Lefty land is no good. But what a nice play there by Dean. Back comes the Hawks school. Scoop shot there is up here. No good by Walker, but Ariana will go to the line for two. Well, the way Frontier is scrapping and the uneven play of Greenfield, it's hard to believe this is still a 16-point game. But I think that if there's film of this, you're going to see uh, Coach Hickey going over some things with the girls. Well, we'll see. We're going, I'm going to see if John will even go on with us after the game. If Greenfield does, in fact, win. We usually, like, usually, if time allows, we usually like to try to have a player or two on and the coach. Reed checks out for Greenfield, and uh, Provost is back in there now for the Lady Wave. One more for Walker. That one is up. That one no good. So it remains 41-25. Greenfield by 16. Coming out of the six-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Hazleton between the circles, left wing to Joy. Deep on the left side, it's Hickey. Dribbles it back out. Cross court pass. Hazleton wide open for three. Misses that one though. And a nice save though by Hickey to Smith. Down low to Provo, saved it on the baseline. No, we got a whistle and a foul. Frontier is playing good defense, but man, Greenfield is ragged. I don't know if they're tired in the second half, but just not the kind of flow you would expect from this team with the talent they have. All right, Provo will inbound on the baseline. Gets it into Smith, turn, shoots, misses. Tipped around, out of bounds, it'll stay with the wave. And we are set now. Provost again inbounding on the baseline. Gets it in. Deep in the left to Hazleton. Reagan Hickey right of the lane. Cuts through the paint. Off the window. Got it. That's a great move. Very, very strong. Strong candidate for Helena Chemical Player of the Game. That will be decided, though, when we get to the end. But she's right there. 
High pass well over the head of Marie Demon, though. Marie needed to be about 6'3 to get that one. Yeah, she's I, not 6'3. I don't even think Sam Smith would have caught that ball. No. If that was to her. Just too high. So the lead continues to be 18 at 43-25. Hazelton jogs it across the timeline. Picked up by Demon. They work it on the left to the shot up and no good. Olivia Joy got it to Provost. Her Lena was no good. Rebound though taken down by Sobieski. Gets it away to Olivia Dean. Runs it up onto the right side. Marie Demon beyond the arc. Back on the right side to Dean. Holding it over her head. Puts it to the floor. Bounce pass left side. Marie Demon pull up pop from 17. Back rim no good. Offensive rebound by e. Dean. Goes up no. Tipped out of bounds. It is off of Frontier. Back to the wave. And Frontier has squandered too many offensive opportunities here. They're down by 18. They made a couple of these. This could be like a 12-point game right now. Yeah, and, and it's just not happening for them. Neither one of these teams is shooting the lights out in this half. Uh, Greenfield's uh, getting one of their lower offensive outputs of the night. An air ball on the right side. Wow. Long pass down. Marie Demon loses it as she went up. It goes off the leg of Hazelton, though, of Greenfield. So it'll be Frontier ball. And checking in was uh, Charlotte Doulette for Frontier. Dean will inbound, playing well with four fouls. Nice entry pass, Marie Demon banks it home down low. Strong play by Demon, she's got six points in this half, eight in the game. 43-27, Greenfield leads by 16. Frontier's biggest lead was six at 10-4 early on. And a double. double dribble on Hazelton of Greenfield. Katie Hazelton double dribble. You don't see that very often. No. <laughs> very good ball handler. <laughs> Poor John so. Hickey. Yeah. Well, he's going to wish his girls a Merry Christmas, but they're going to go through a tough practice this weekend. Uh, I would think. Christmas is on, not until Tuesday, so they'll have a couple of practices before then. Hazelton, top of the key, squares up for three. Got that one. Yeah, she made up for the double dribble with a three ball. 46-27, Greenfield by 19 points now. Bounce pass on the right side to Olivia Dean. Jump pass, coming through. Dillette, the leaner, no good, but she'll go the line for a couple of foul, a couple of foul shots here. And that is the fourth foul on Reagan Hickey of Greenfield. First of two is up, it is good. That's Charlotte Toulette's first point of the game. And one more for the Frontier sophomore. It's good. 46-29, Greenfield by 17. The lead has kind of fluctuated between 13 and 19 for a while. Gets down to Smith, kind of tipped it to herself off a of feed from Olivia Joy. She puts it in. Back up to a 19 point lead for the Wave. And we're down to three and a half to play in the basketball game. Walker zips a pass down low and hitting from the left block is Marie Demon. Yeah, she's having quite a half. Yeah, I mean, if Frontier was in the lead, not to say she'd be a good candidate for player of the game. But Reagan Hickey takes it coast to coast, playing with four fouls, puts it up and in. 19 points for Reagan Hickey. Quiet 19, but 19 nonetheless. 50 31 Greenfield. So team's basically trading baskets right now. Now a steal by Hazelton. Heads down court looking for some help. Right side to Hickey. Hook pass down low. Ooh. Shot up by Smith, no good. A lot of contact, no yeah. foul either way. You better believe it. Walker pushed pass up ahead to Demon. Marie's taking a right, very aggressive move. Didn't get it to fall. And it comes down to Greenfield. Hazelton now going one on three. She wise, wisely peels back. Waits for her teammates to set up. Provost down the right side, Hickey on the wing. She's beyond the arc right now, holds. Cross guard pass to Provost, left side. 17 foot J by Hazelton is short. Here comes Marie Demon. Runs it up all the way through. Lays it up and in. Yeah, Marie Demon is not, not giving up in this, this game. She has been very impressive. Looking forward to seeing her play the rest of the season. She's like I said, she's one of the leaders in this team. Hickey launches a three way off. It goes out of bounds. 
We'll go back to Frontier. Christina Reed will check in for Sam Smith. Who gets a nice hand as she checks out. Walker and Demon out for Frontier and out uh, on the court is Ring and uh, Mackin. Mackin's now back out there. They try to feed the paint, picked off. Here comes Sicky. She'll go coast to coast, lays it up and in. Greenfield 52, Frontier 33. So the wave cruising to victory number four on the season. Frontier will fall to one and two. Down low, Sobieski got hit. As she tried to get a shot off down low. Cyril Warren, a sophomore guard, is getting set to check in for Frontier also. A couple, a, couple, a couple of new girls coming in. Can't see who the other one is. Elena Mays Poland is the other one. Oh, that's number five, yep. And Greenfield's going to get some of their younger ball players in as well. Checking in for the Lady Wave, number 14. Lil Kackelmeyer. And who else snuck into the game? Maddie Kachewski. I think Hickey and Hazelton are done for the night, and so is Smith. Kocheski just a freshman, Kakemeyer just an eighth grader. 52-35, Greenfield by 17 with a minute 30 to play. Our post-game show coming up, and the Helena Chemical player of the game. Uh, also in now for Greenfield as well, it's number 34, Kelsey Richardson. Frontier comes up with the loose ball. They're going the other way, just over a minute to play. On the right side, it's Sobieski. Sobieski throws up a runner. Off the front of the rim, no good. Battle for the rebound, she gets it back. Jump pass down low. Foul on Christina Reed going over the back of Mays Pollen. And nobody's near the bonus yet with a minute left. Uh, yeah, that's true. And that's it for... But, uh, uh, Christina Reed just fouled out of the game. She doesn't realize it yet, but she has to come off. So she fouls out, and Bree Rivera will replace her. Yeah, I figured that was five for her. Warren inbounds it. Sobieski turns, shoots, short. Got the rebound again. She has a good height advantage down there with Smith of Greenfield off the court. Couldn't convert, though, but Frontier does get the rebound. Less than a minute to play on the left side. Here comes Dean, and she got blocked down low. It looks like Kelsey Richardson may have gotten the ticket. Yep, it's on Kelsey. She's a first baseman on that Greenfield softball team that won the Western Mass Championship last spring. First free throw is up. No good by Dean, and Liv will get one more. Amanda Fuller, junior, snuck into the game. Amelia Sobieski will take a well-deserved break on the bench. Looks like she's done for the night. Nice effort. We'll talk about in the postgame. Frontier, I mean, they, they did as well as could be expected. They're not going to get the win, obviously, but they forced Greenfield to play uh, not even close to their best performance. 35 seconds to play. Greenfield leads by 16, Ooh. and they lose it out of bounds. Goes off the hand of uh, Kacklemeyer. 30 seconds left. Warren takes it up, stops between the circles. Mays Pollen gets it back to Warren. Shot clock at 15. Now they go. Mays Pollen puts up a three. Ooh. Oh, just rimmed out on her. And the ball goes off of Greenfield, so Frontier will get it. Shot clock off, 13.1 seconds left. Yeah, Mays Pollen almost uh, got her name in the book for a three. Just spun out on her. Warren on the left side to the foul line. Get it back. Going to take a three that is short off the front of the rim. Two seconds, one second. Ball game over. Greenfield wins it. Final score here in South Deerfield on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Greenfield 52, 
Frontier 36. Stay tuned, the post game show next and the Helena Chemical Player of the Game, high school basketball on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslex Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. And welcome to the post-game show, high school basketball, Bear Country 95.3. Greenfield wins it over Frontier by a final score of 52-36 So the Green Wave. With 20% of the regular season now over, they go to 4-0. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins here at Goodno Gymnasium. We got Dave Reno at our Woodard Road Greenfield Studios. Far, far, far from a virtuoso performance for Greenfield. We've seen them any number of times over the last couple of years, Chris, play way better than this. But give Frontier a lot of credit. They really had Greenfield uh, out of sorts right from the jump. Greenfield had some stretches where they got it going. But all in all, Greenfield, obviously, they'll take the W, but not a great performance. Yeah, I would say that the best thing you could say about this game was it was a win. Uh, I would not say it was uh, indicative of what this team can do. I think Frontier, I think you said it best during the game, I think they played as well as they could against this team. And Frontier is a team that's scrappy. They don't ever give up. They fight to the end. But in this case, it was just a matter of too much talent on the Greenfield side. And, and talent will win. And it, Greenfield's defense really is the unsung hero of this game. If they hadn't played good defense in the first half, they never would have had that big lead. Uh, uneven performances, but still, Reagan Hickey, an uneven performance, but she had 21 points. It's and Sam, Sam Smith, 19. So, I mean, it, it, even in an uneven matchup, they're, they're stars. Well, you know, Chris, you look at it this way. Uh, Greenfield is so good that you can have a night where just you just can't get rolling. You just can't do what you what you ordinarily would do. But when you've got a team that has Sam Smith and Reagan Hickey and Katie Hazelton, I mean, you can have a night like tonight and still win by 16 points and, and not be happy about it. That's really. true. But yeah. if you come up against, like, a Hampshire regional or a, a, a real serious contender, a team that you'll, you might see in the postseason, you're not going to have a win. You're going to end up getting beaten. And I think that, you know, we talk about running the table and this is the best Greenfield team in a long time. The bottom line is you have to come out to play every night. I don't think Greenfield came out ready to play tonight, but they were good enough to win. And But I think John Hickey... I think that the biggest problem, I think, was mostly is mostly mental. It wasn't that they just they just weren't shooting. They weren't thinking. I mean, Katie Hazelton with a double dribble. Yeah, Sam Smith missed some easy shots in the baseline that would be absolutely just money every time for her normally. It's it's a learning experience. It's good that it happened now because you get those cobwebs out and then you are ready to go down the stretch. So Greenfield wins it by a final score of 52 to 36. Chris, we'll have you run the numbers, and then we'll reveal the Helena Chemical player of the game. Okay, for Greenfield, leading all scorers in the game and her team, 21 points for Reagan Hickey, 19 for Sam Smith, 8 points for Kate Hazelton, and 4 for Christina Reed, who fouled out. And by the way, those are the only four that scored. And that's something else. I mean, yeah. it, it just, you know, you can't have only four players in the book. For the Frontier Red Hawks, uh, Marie Demon. Uh, leading all scorers for her team, 13 points, 9 for Olivia Dean, 7 for Amelia Silbieski, 3 for Macy Ring, and 2 each for Caitlin Mackin and Charlotte Dulette. 52-36 is the final from South Deerfield. Helen, the chemical player of the game, was the, the girl that just had the steady hand all night long. Greenfield senior Reagan Hickey gets a yet another T-shirt. And again, it wasn't a great performance, especially in the first quarter. She looked frustrated. She looked like her timing was off, but still. You know, that's how great of a player she is. She can play unevenly for a half of basketball and still come out with 21 points in the T-shirt. I mean, she's just she's one of those players that is transcendent, and I believe that uh, she is going to go far this season. And she is she is sort of the face that rules the place, along with Sam Smith, and those two together are the key to Greenfield's future, whatever that may be. 
So congratulations to Greenfield senior Reagan Hickey, winner tonight of the Helena Chemical Player of the Game. As Greenfield wins it by a final score of 52 to 36 with the win, they have upped their seasonal record to 4-0. They are 2-0 now in league play. Frontier falls to 1-2, and, and uh, they are now 0-2. Uh, check that 1-1 one one in league play with that win over Mahar. So they fall to 1-2. Again, they win it, uh, Greenfield does, by a final score of 52 to 36. So that wraps it up for the 2018 portion of the season. A little bit of downtime with the holidays coming close to midweek this year. But we'll be back with you soon enough in 2019 for the uh, second half of the high school basketball season. Final score for the final time here in South Deerfield. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Greenfield 52 and Frontier 36. For Chris Collins and Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Merry Christmas, everyone, and have a great weekend in Bear Country.